Trigger fish get their name from the three rays on their dorsal fins. These rays can be locked into an upright position so that the fish can wedge itself into a crevice when threatened. A parent fish's front teeth are fused together, forming a beak. It uses the beak to break off pieces of coral. It grinds up the limestone skeletons to get to the soft animals inside. Porcupine fish have armor plates made up of strong, sharp spines. When frightened, they fill themselves up with water so that they get bigger and the spines stick out. If they are removed from the ocean, they fill up with air until they are placed back into the water. Jacks like this have a slender, streamlined body which makes them very strong swimmers. Butterfly fish have a very compressed body that makes it easy for them to swim between the twisting branches of coral. Some varieties are easily approached by divers and do well in aquariums. Aren't you glad your school isn't this crowded? These fish like the crowd because there is safety in numbers. Groupers and basses are well known for their large mouths, which rapidly expand and suck in unsuspecting prey. When a ship sinks, animals will start to make a home inside of it. Coral and sponges will attach themselves to the bulkheads of the ship, while other creatures will find cracks and holes to live in. Soon the ship will look a lot like a natural reef.
Divers must be very careful when exploring a shipwreck. They never know what might be hiding behind a wall or door. There might be a hungry shark inside. Rays and sharks can look very scary, but even these animals can be gentle enough to eat out of a diver's hand. Even though they are very large, they will not hurt divers except to defend themselves. <laughs> 